you know, is, is a big part of what we stand for because it's about the government taking on greater control of the economy and you know, destroying resources. So we want to know like, how it's affecting people working regular jobs and to hear that it's affecting you. Oh, yeah. You know, for that short period of time, I've been in this shop for around seven years now. And, uh, you know, so I've seen the fluctuations in, in how things have changed us. And in that short period of time between the, and it seemed to be right around the same time, the cash for clunkers and a lot of the job falls out, mm -hmm. you know, so it all kind of mixed together. Um, and, and a lot of good mechanics have lost their jobs simply because there was no work, so they had to move to other fields. Um, and then when we lost those guys, we can't do as much volume of work as we had. And so it, it was just a big downfall spiral. Um, luckily, in this area, we're one of the only shops that does special work you know, as far as custom exhaust and stuff like that. So we were able to kind of pull through, but you know, we have a sister shop across town and they, they got hit harder than us because they do major repairs on fleet vehicles. And when we lost a lot of those fleet vehicles, you know, it, it hit us pretty hard. And, you know, and it seemed to be right around the same time when everybody's supposed to be getting pay raises. You know, <laughs> and all of us guys are putting in like five years, you know, we're all at five, six, seven years. So, you know, we're pushing for more money, but we're actually losing money. I'm making less this year than I did three years ago, you know, and, and it, it's weird, it scares me because, you know, I've got a family, I've got four children, I've got a wife, um, and so with losing money, we're not actually gaining anymore, we're falling back, you know, and we're actually having to pull out of our savings and our money, which is for my, my children, so what I see it as is it's going to be hurting our future, my children's future, because they're not going to have much if I can't save for them now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know where they and are so, hiring? They're hiring in Washington, D.C. right oh, now. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure, you know, they've got a lot of open seats out there. A lot of these older people are finally retiring and taking leave and passing away and stuff like that. So I'm sure, yeah. And I'm sure their pay has went up. Yeah. From even when that, that the person that retired started, you know, I'm sure they're starting where they left off, probably, you know. so. Um, well, you see all the power that the federal government's taken on. See all the expansion, and you know they're not producing anything of value yeah. like you guys are here. Yeah. And so they're just taking and taking and taking. And it has to come. You know, from and people. It, it also affects you know like a downfall in our parts and things like that. We get the quality of stuff has went down so dramatically mm. simply because you know, and, and, and a lot of things are composite plastic nowadays on motors and a lot of things. You know, and we used to be able to get a lot of our parts were. Or OEM original equipment parts. Now we actually have to go outside to other makers, which make them for a fraction of the price, but the part doesn't last. And so the customer ends up putting his part in that's no good to begin with, really, you know, and it lasts for a little while and then it hits them again. So they end up having double repairs on something that should have been fixed right the first time, you know. And that hits us a little bit too, you know. But other than that, you know, I think the general working man, we're just going to push through any way we can to take care of our families, you know, and if that's, you know, us having to cut back on certain little things in our life, you know, that give us joy in life, well, that's what I've been having to do, you know. It shouldn't have to be that way, you know, that's what we're fighting for, trips. bring the power back here locally, stop Washington, D.C. from sucking up so many resources, and I'm, I'm glad you're receptive to well, this. I'm glad I can talk so. to you, that's, you know, I've <laughs> never had a chance really to, you know, I'm just an everyday working man, been doing the same thing for 14 years. So are we. You know, so. Well, thanks, Anna. Really Thank you. I appreciate you coming by.